Hello everybody and welcome to my October Timu Hauls. This is part two of my October haul. Um, for those of you who don't know, Timu is an online marketplace. It sells a huge variety of goods from different creators, all under the one banner. Um, I will put a link to a discount code for you if, in the description box below and on the screen now. Timu has free shipping worldwide and they also have free 90 day returns. And if for some reason your order is late and it doesn't arrive on or before the day they say, they will give you a $5 cash back for that reason. So let's get on to the haul. Okay, I'm back with part two. And this involves some Christmas things and some other things. Um, so we'll get the others out of the way first. The first thing I ordered was this, uh, I think it's a four pack. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. It's a four pack of travel pouches and I actually ordered this for my son he finishes school this year he's going to Japan for 10 days and he's so excited about that um, they have to use like a backpack to go so he has a good size backpack a travel one um, but to make it easier for him to find things in that backpack I ordered these travel pouches for him to separate his clothing and things like that so that things don't fly everywhere when he's looking for something. So he'll probably only use three of them I would think but I don't know and there's that large one there as well and it is quite big. A bit. There we go. Okay they're good size. They feel a really nice quality actually um, they have a lot on the site so I, I looked at a few and these ones look like a nice quality not too flimsy so I'm very happy with those so that's the first thing I got the second is a blanket and I kind of ordered this for Christmas time because it's just a little bit different to the rest of the year. Um, it's just a plush kind of blanket. What does that say? It's a 50 inches by 60 inches. It's very soft. My son, my son absolutely loves it. Um, so I think I will be giving it to him. I'm very pleased with it, apart from one thing, and that is in some places on the reverse, there's, I don't know, maybe if I wash it, it I, at first I thought it was red thread, but now upon looking at it, I think it's just where they've marked the fabric to cut it so it could be water soluble and come out so I'll have to and I'm thinking that's probably what it is because it's not thread after all it's just a marking pen and I'd say it's probably a water soluble one so but it's so soft and I just thought it kind of had a, a bit of a Christmas vibe going for it um, although it's our summer here, it's still nice to have a blanket around, not to actually use, but just to decorate. So um, that's the first thing I got there. Well, not the first, but the more Christmas type thing. I've also got these. Um, and I never really thought, I thought, oh, they'll go really nicely together. But this is red and cream, and that one is white, so I don't know. Maybe that will go in a different area. Um, and these are cushion, oh, they're quite big, aren't they? These are cushion covers, they're huge. 
Oh my goodness. How big are they? Look at that. Oh goodness me, they're big. Um, let's have a look. Okay. All right, 17 and a half inches. So they are 44 centimeters square. Um, I mean, they don't look that big once you put an insert in them, do they? So let's have a look at the pattern design on them, shall we? Let's just get that put up there. Right, so I thought these would be quite cheerful. So that's the first one. It says, A Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. <laughs> okay. So that's the first one. This is the first, second, and it's Joy. Like that. And this one, Let It Snow. And they're, they're like a, like it look, it's, it looks like a hessian, but it's not a hessian. It's just got a, you know, a, a, a um, large weave to it. Let's just have a look at the quality of them. Okay. So I don't know what kind of fabric it is. It's kind of like a close weave hessian, I guess you could call it. I think they describe it as a linen, but I wouldn't call this a linen. Um, it's a bit of fun for Christmas, that's what it is. So that's Let It Snow. That'd be great outside, you know, as just an outside decoration on an outdoor lounge or something like that. And then there's the Christmas trees there. Like that and like that. So I got those. Then I got these. And these are candles. I'm quite excited about these. Okay, flameless taper candles, set of six LED window candles. LED. Quite sure. I asked for warm white. Now these are remote control. I have never had remote control lights, so I will be quite. Um, excited to use these and I think they take double A batteries as well uh, I'm pretty sure I just saw a double A somewhere it's got a flicker flame where did I see it Batteries, three double A batteries, ivory color. Mm. So that will be fun. That will be fun, and they are seven inches tall. So I got those. I also got. I also got this little piece of Christmas it's like it's got little bulbs on it it's just a multicolor little bit of Christmas twine it's I think a yard or a meter I thought it might be nice on a special gift because I don't decorate with all these colors at Christmas time but say I wanted to get my mum something extra special and put something you know around it I thought it would be perfect for that sort of thing just to add a little bit or you know you could use bits of this on card making and things like that because it's so very tiny so I got a piece of that to try out oh I also got these 
and there are, I think there's 12, yes, 12 of these, and these are napkin rings, and I got them for Christmas, to use on Christmas Day, um, Okay, got it. So that's what they look like. Very glamorous, aren't they? I do like a bit of bling. Um, I'm looking at it and thinking, is it too like yellowy gold? But then I'm thinking by the time you get your napkin going through it, it doesn't actually look too brassy at all. Um, I think when they're all together like that, they come off a little bit brassy, but like just like that I think they're fine so that was a nice little find and I'll keep those just for Christmas time um, yes and they're all the same so that's that's really nice I'm going to keep them in their little individual bags I think because it will stop them getting damaged so let's just pop that there and of course there's the other part of it as well. Okay, so the next thing I got was, oh, I got two sets of these and once again, remote control. <laughs> these are little fairy lights. Um, I've had fairy lights before and they're warm white, um, but I've never had remote control. So they're USB charged, which is nice. Ooh, I will have to try those out, won't I? Oh, I'm excited to do that. I really am. Oh, I'll have to charge them down there and try them out. Okay, so the next thing I got was... Oh, I got a set of cones. Foam... Christmas tree cones. Um, I thought they were going to be like five different sizes. I obviously didn't read it properly. I would have liked five different sizes, but I've got five the same now. Um, so we'll work. We'll work it out. Um, Maybe I can have five different heights of... Oh, I could do that. I can make the stands five different heights. That might work. Okay, so I got five Christmas tree cones. I also got these. And they're so pretty. Years ago, I found a decoration like this, but there was only one. And I love it. Um, it looks so pretty on the Christmas tree. It, it's... Oh, okay. Look at that. It's just like flower petals. It's very lightweight. Oops, let's just get that off. Okay. Very lightweight. And I'm so glad it didn't get too crushed or anything. Um, because they do sort of come a long way and they're not overly, you know, padded in the packaging. So I might have to just little work a couple of the petals to sit them down again. But aren't they pretty? And they have quite a few different kinds of baubles on the site and I'm sure there's more to come getting closer to Christmas. So I got those. And I also got some more baubles. And these are more for outside. Because um, I, I put a chandelier outside. And I wanted something lightweight to hang from them. So I got these. And these are just the um, plastic baubles. Like that. Aren't they pretty? They're, you can just see a bit of colour. And I thought that would complement the 
the crystal because you see the colors in the crystal as well and I can just have these um, hanging at different lengths from the chandelier as well just to add a little bit extra so they should work very nicely then I think I have one more thing to show you I'll just make sure I'm not forgetting anything this time Yep, one more thing. Oh, and it's quite large. And that is this. And it's it's not a wreath. It's Christmas small red fruit. Um, it's like you know, it's like a what do they call those? <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Um. But you don't have to leave it all in one piece. You, you can cut it up if you want, or you can even just cut little branches off and add it to your decor. Or you can leave it like that and perhaps use it as a centerpiece or something. Um, I just, I haven't really come across this. I found one piece like this in the op shop years ago, and I've used it so many times. Um, and I think I've seen it in the store, but it was quite expensive. So when I saw this on the site, I thought, yes, I will, I will get some of this. So that should be fun to play with this Christmas. And all the berries are different sizes too, which the one I already had, all the berries were the same size. So this is a little bit more realistic than the one I already had. So that is my little bit of Christmas. Um, I'm hoping next month being November will be perhaps full on Christmas. Goodness me, I can't believe I've done it again. I forgot to show you two of the items from my Timu haul this month. And the first one is this, which is a lovely, I hope lovely, it's an acrylic butterfly and hmm, it's a little bit different than what I thought it was. On the site it, it looks, oh there we go, that side. Um, it's acrylic and it, it is very lovely but it looked, it looked a lot more dimensional on the site. And I think this is, you can hang it from your revision mirror in your car. Um, very very pretty I'm just oh okay I'm holding it up to the window it does have that same kind of effect when it's got the light behind it because it is kind of clear it's just a little bit harder to see under the light down here so that's it's very pretty and will be quite nice in my car but I might keep that bag to keep it in and the other thing I forgot to show you as a table runner um, this measures 13 by 72 inches and it's just like a kind of it's got a little mark on it there maybe that will wash out it's just got the lovely blue stripes on it Kind of like the old French linens, but it's it's not linen linen. It's more like the pillowcases I showed you before. Um, that's we'll have to just see how it washes up, I guess. Um, but you know, if you're wanting something on your table, it's just fine. Um, just to add a little something in the center. So there we go. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot those two things and I forgot the other two things in the last video as well. Okay. There was a little hanger on the in the packet for the butterfly, so I put that on. And I've just realized it's <laughs> it has coating on it. So it's going to be so much prettier without that um, it's like when you buy a new television or something you know they have that that 
coating on it and it is so much prettier now look at that and I've put the hanger on the other way I don't think there's one on that side I don't think so I suppose we'll have to I don't think so no so I'm still counting that as the right side and the other side now let me hang it up um the other side is now the shinier side but the colors come through a lot better now <laughs> okay so I can put it on that way anyway it doesn't matter because the hanger looks the same from both sides but there you go remember to take the little plastic covering off <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching everybody I will once again put that um, discount codes on the screen now and like I said all the information if you're interested in ordering from Timu will be in the description box below and for those that do not want to use an app to order you can always just go to the website purchase your products and go through PayPal which is how I do it for my personal purchases so take care everybody bye